All right, it is Friday morning, so my favorite guy, like I always say, is Hey, hey, today. we're here. We are here and awake this morning, aren't we? Oh, we're wide awake, bright and early this <laughs> Friday morning. We're ready to roll. We got a big old weekend ahead of us, <laughs> Jenna, we and uh, we we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> Tom, if we weren't awake before the show, we are awake now after hearing you. Oh, uh, well, we're ready to bust loose. That's right. All right, Tom, what do we have going on? You have a great cover, by the way. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, we're very uh, supportive of diversity in the Keys, and uh, this was going to be Martin Luther King's uh, birthday this coming week, and uh, we're hosting the birthday tribute dinner at Casa Antigua, my home, uh, this Saturday night, and our featured speakers will be our new Coast Guard commander and our new college president, who happen to be African American. Perfect. And so, for the first time, we've really got you know high placed officials to speak on the state of the African American in America, and I think mm -hmm. it's wonderful. And uh, mm -hmm. and in Key West, and so uh, we're uh, you know going to have a beautiful night. And I understand you're going to join us, uh -huh. and. Uh, I will. Um, I will be there to hear this. Yeah, it sounds like you've got you've got the right speakers for the event. Yeah. And of course, you're honoring a legendary man, so you can't yeah, go wrong. Yeah, Dr. Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. You know, I rarely talk about it, but back in my formative days in the early 20s, in my first political campaign, I worked with the children of Dr. Martin Luther King. He, really? He was, you know, he wasn't the superstar <laughs> he was now. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, we worked on a campaign in Atlanta together, uh, Yolanda and Marty, and um, it, it was pretty exciting. And then we lost the campaign, <laughs> but uh, his mother, their mother, Coretta, always encouraged us, you know, she's, you know. To keep trying? Yeah, to mm -hmm. keep trying, to keep trying. So that was So some he's got an amazing time. family, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, but I go way back with them, and uh, I, I mean, it's interesting. Well, at that time, it was no big deal, but I mean, you know, 30 years later, hey, you know, they, Dr. King has his own holiday, his own memorial in Washington, D.C., and he, we all recognize him as the ultimate civil rights leader. Right. So, uh, well, he deserves all of that. Mm -hmm. All right, Tom, so what else So we got that have? Saturday night. Well, also in this week's Call Call, I want to point out we honor the wounded warriors who came to town with Soldier Ride. Mm -hmm. And that is so touching. You have these uh, veterans from the Afghan and uh, Afghanistan and Iraq who have lost legs and arms. And they're doing it. They're ride, they ride their bike all the way through the Keys. We have pictures. And uh, it's just so touching. And I always get very moved when I hug them because these boys, they're gorgeous boys because they've been through it all, and uh, their spirits are so high despite having lost, you know, their limbs. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's such a special thing. And they had the rusty anchor had a great big dinner for them, and uh, That's special. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Aqua had a special show, which I always love. It's like a Fellini movie. You have drag queens and. Uh, <laughs> And the, the, the wounded, wounded warriors. warriors. I mean, it's just a very strange mix. <laughs> but I know they love that. Right? They, they love, love it. it. It's it's a it. it's the best evening. You know, so much fun and uh, everything. So uh, well, they are inspirational. We try time. to show them a good time. Well, you do that. And uh, and then of course we have the mayor's ball in here, and it was wonderful. You know, Cheryl Cates is so popular. She was able to get over 300 people to the mayor's ball, an all-time record this year. And it was just great. It was just great. And Raquel went with me and uh, we had a good old time. Good. So you had you had a lot going on and now we're already running out of time today, Tom, but I know there's some events going on this week. Well, it is coming Tuesday. Randy Roberts is opening his brand new show, Divine Sister, at the Red Barn, which is supposed to, going to be a blockbuster. We love Randy and uh, anyway, I hope that uh, everybody will go out and see Randy Roberts. and. You know, and also I want to mention this coming um, month, I'm very blessed to have uh, Noel, my good pal Noel Paul Stuckey in concert at our home, Casa Antigua. And you know, he's with the legendary folk group, Peter, Paul, and Mary, who, you know, in fact, they were on the mall with, with Dr. Martin Luther King when he gave his dream speech. They were the warm-up act. And so, 
you know, they, it, we have a lot of connection with them too. And then later in the month, we have the symphonies, Vienna Choir Boys, we're doing a reception for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's the Beaver, it's the Vienna Choir Boys, first time to Florida, if not Key West. And, uh, and they'll be at Casa Antigua. They'll be at Casa Antigua. Boy. So we've got a lot going on. You do, you have a lot going on and it starts this Saturday night it's, with your dinner. Yeah, with the uh, Martin Luther King dinner at Casa right. Antigua at six o'clock. I hope, hope to see you all there. I mean, it's a great to honor this wonderful leader. Absolutely. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in this morning, Tom. Thank you for being here with me today. Wonderful starting Friday morning out with you. I love being thank here, you. you know, at the crack of dawn with you, uh, Jenna. It's just so amazing, you know. Uh, oh, well, everybody. Nobody has, else has ever gotten me up this early. How do you do that? <laughs> everybody have a great weekend. Join me back here Tuesday at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care. It'll be okay.